Hey there, this is Steve Horseman and Tim Wade with Mojopolis and the ConfidentManRetreat.com. We're going to shoot three videos for you to tell you a story about what goes on at a ranch retreat. We have a few spots coming up for the Sylvandale Ranch Confident Man Retreat in Loveland, Colorado. We have some questions coming up from people, people who, women especially, what do you guys do at a retreat? <laughs> what do you do? What, what, what do a bunch of guys do at a retreat anyway? Isn't that kind of weird? You know, you know? And you're hanging out with horses and, horses and stuff? What, what are you is doing? that? And uh, we laugh. The best way to answer the question, what happens at a retreat, is to tell you a story about it. Story is the best way. We want to tell you a story about Paul. Now, you're going to talk a little bit about horses and why, why are we doing horses again? Yeah, well, the thing about horses is that they're a great barometer for how you are showing up or what your intentions are, your energy is like. You know, they don't they obviously speak a language, they can't read your mind, but they do read your intentions very clearly and they give you immediate feedback, just yeah. like that. So if they think you're a predator, they're going to bolt immediately. Mm -hmm. Or if they think that you're afraid of them, they just will walk away, not even pay attention to you. Yeah. Now, interestingly, uh, this is a great metaphor for the way we show up in relationships, especially with women. Yeah. Right. Especially. So on to the story. Paul came last year to the retreat and he he's a rock star, right? He's a man's man. He flies jumbo jets 500 miles an hour at 30,000 feet. Women love him, but he's got a secret fear. He's got a secret fear of how horses react to them. He's afraid of horses being angry. He's afraid of being kicked or bitten. He's afraid of horses. And coincidentally, <laughs> he admitted that he's kind of afraid of the women in his life for the same reasons that's right being bit being kicked <laughs> <laughs> the reactions the anger the unpredictability of it all so he came to the retreat wanting to address this fear so the story what happened on the first day we're answering the question who am I at the retreat and who am I as a man when I show up in front of something that scares me we worked on that the difference between being the uncertain tentative scared afraid person versus the dominant controlling guy full of mind bravado who's trying to cover up his fear what's in between those two extremes and that's what Paul worked on with us and it was quite amazing he stepped out of his comfort zone and mm. was right there on the ground in front of this you know 1200 pound animal uh, and he learned how just the amount of intention and pressure and presence that he had to bring in order for the horse to trust him first that he's not a predator, that he's not a threat, and then to listen to him and do what he wanted the horse to do. Yeah. It's what we call uh, pressure and release. It's that sweet spot where you just have an enough, uh, but not too much. And how many times in my life have I shown up way over the top trying to muscle <laughs> my way through, with, especially with a partner, a woman, and uh, she pushes back, puts up her duke, she's defensive. Or I've shown up weak, apologetic, trying to get permission, is this okay? Uncertain, and, yeah. And then she just looks at me like I'm annoying and right. that I wishes I would just go away. So when Paul learned these lessons, he, he decided on, on his attempt to get the, this is an exercise where we try to get the horse to lower its head all the way to the ground. He found out how liberating it was to find that sweet spot of not trying so hard not trying to ask permission, not being afraid, but also not trying to dominate and, and yank the horse's head down. It was so liberating and eye-opening to him to see that there was much less work required when you become peaceful, calm, and confident that you're able to show up as a safe place. You start leading in a way that you never thought was possible. And he just laughed. And so the next thing we were going to talk to him about, what does he want to create when he gets home? How does he want to use this energy later? In the next video, we want to talk about how he went from who I am and finding that sweet spot in between being afraid and being a, a jerk. How is he going to take it home and what does he want to create there? Yeah, and when we asked him, what do you want? That's the next question. Yeah. He told us what he didn't want. Yeah. That happens a lot. I don't want to be afraid. I don't want her to be angry. I don't want her to criticize me. I don't want her to reject me. All of those things. So we asked again, but what do you really want? Do you want? And uh, in our next video, we're going to tell you what his answer was finally to that question and how it was a game changer for him. Mm -hmm. So... This is what the retreat's really about, and this is why it's unique, is because it, you can watch this video and hear this. You can read a book about this stuff, but actually doing it, actually doing hands-on, yeah. 
uh, is is totally different. It changes who you are. Yeah, you're surrounded by other brothers and other horses. Uh, if you want to know more about the retreat, you go to theconfidentmanretreat.com. That's www.theconfidentmanretreat.com to get more information on this. We'll see you tomorrow in another video about Paul's next story. We want to give you a follow-up on Paul's story that we started. Paul was a man who was afraid of horses, and he came to the Confident Man Retreat last year. And in the second day, we got to the question of, what do I want? What do I want to create? Yep. And initially, when we asked him, of course, he said, what do you want? And like many guys, he said, here's what I don't want. And he didn't want rejection. And he didn't want anger. And he didn't want, you know, a sexless marriage. There's all sorts of things he didn't want. Yeah. And that's great. That's not a bad place to start. But then we said, okay, but what do you really want? Yeah. He said, I want connection. I want to feel attraction. I want affection. Connection, attraction, affection. Who doesn't want that? Everybody wants connection, affection, and attraction. But he didn't know how to get it. So he's more afraid of what he didn't want. I didn't want this horse I'm working with to bite me or kick me or reject me or react to me badly. So when you show up in the energy of what you don't want, you tend to create more of it. It's a really weird thing. But yeah. the more you don't want something, the more you tend to create it. And it's the same with women. Yeah. If you show up and you think they're going to scratch and kick and bite you, well, they probably will. They probably will. <laughs> well, seriously, they, the, you, know, you, you come across fearing rejection, you're going to create that very thing. Yeah. So what we taught Paul on the second day of what do I want at the retreat was how do you communicate with your intention that you want connection, attraction, and affection in a way that's, that's leading her through a seduction process from a calm, patient confident place, one where you already feel self-sourced, that you're okay. How do you inspire and attract a woman into a, a place of affection and connectedness? So what you, the answer to what do you want is not about, here's what I want to get. It's, what do I want to create in my life? Exactly. How do I want to experience my life? And how do I want to experience my relationships? And you, don't, you do that by changing yourself, yeah. by changing how you are showing up in the relationship, in your life. As Steve said, whether, you know, through confidence, through patience, through uh, strong intention. We talked in the last video about a horse, for example. They'll read your intention. And if you don't have one, they'll just ignore you. So yeah. you, it, it, same with a, a relationship with a woman. The key learning... In, in this second video that we wanted you to know, the key learning that Paul got was changing the energy from I need you, I want you, I have to have it, this getting energy, this almost desperate, panicky, empty energy where you're asking for permission, asking somebody or a horse to do something for you, and you change it to one of giving, of generosity, that wait a minute, I can give peacefulness, I can give calmness, I can give an invitation, I can create a seductive, safe environment where it's more attractive and inspiring. And, and believe me, when a horse feels that from a person, they will do anything for that person. And same with women. Yeah. And that's the type of thing we talk about and do on this retreat. And the reason it's unique, as we said in the last video, is that you get to do hands-on work in which you really can see an immediate feedback on how you're showing up and whether your intention is either too strong or too weak and all of those type of things. And if you want to get in on this, uh, the Sylvandale Ranch in Colorado in the Rocky Mountains, it's beautiful. That's where we're doing it. It's in May. You want to go to confidentmanretreat.com. That's confidentmanretreat.com. And you can get all the information. You can sign up there. And I want to say it's almost full, right? Yeah, yeah a few we spots left. A few spots left. So if you want to get in on this, go there now. And um, to next video, we're going to talk about uh, what Paul, uh, how his game changer about who he was and then what he wanted, we said to him, well, where are you going? Where are you going? How are you going to keep this up? Yeah. This can't just be for this, you know, retreat. How are yeah. you going to bring this into your life in a sustained and confident and consistent way that will really change things for you? Yeah, we talk about habits. How do you transform the way you're showing up, the patterns and the habits that you as a man adopt as your everyday energy? And so that's what he needs to figure out. In tomorrow's video, we'll talk about that.
We've been doing a little series here about uh, a guy who attended the retreat last year. His name is Paul, and uh, we wanted to tell you what uh, he learned and how he changed over this time period that he spent with uh, a brotherhood of men and a bunch of horses. Yeah. If you watched the last two videos, you know we answered the questions with Paul, who am I and what do I want? In this video, we want to talk about his big question, where do I go from here? That's, is this going to be a one-shot thing, a, a weekend retreat, and I feel good, and I go home, and I lose everything? Where do I go from here? And that's certainly not what we wanted him to do. Right. And our promise is that you know this this is a life changer. This is a game changer. And so it's all about how you change your habits and do them consistently. Yeah. So uh, so that's what we worked with him in this time. So when he approached, for example, the horses again after that first time of doing it. He had to remember what and not just start all over again. And you know what? He did. He was amazing in terms of he had shed his fear mm -hmm. of those horses. And uh, we actually went horseback riding, and which he had never done. Yeah. And it was quite something. Yeah. And he was then able to translate that to, okay, how am I going to show up in my personal relationships when I get home? Yeah. How am I going to be different with my confidence, my patience, my approach with, with the pressure and release and all of those things? Right. The key to making it stick for Paul was that he knew he couldn't just go home and do things the old-fashioned way. He couldn't just go back to flying jumbo jets and doing his normal routine with his woman, same thing. What he wanted to do is create a new pattern, a new habit. And so he did in the way he showed up, the way he talked, the way he initiated, the way he took the lead, the way he was less tentative and less uncertain, and he became more deliberate and more decisive in who he was. He wasn't dominant, he wasn't controlling, but he just became more clear, more comfortable in his skin, and she noticed it immediately. In fact, yeah. he said, well, I need more practice. How am I gonna, how am I, gonna I don't have enough men in my life, right? I'm, I'm on this plane with one other dude, and I'm with my woman. So one thing he did, he, he rented a horse. He went home and he rented a horse. He goes, I want to continue the relationship with the horse. I want to continue practicing. So he almost bought a horse. I told him you can actually rent horses. Yes. And he does this and he goes home and for three months he and he bonded with his horse and started practicing what he learned at the retreat. And not only that, we found out he's signing up for this year's retreat. He's coming back again. He liked it so much that he wanted to do it again. Now, we're not saying that if you come on the retreat, you're going to have to rent a horse. <laughs> but um, the truth is, this retreat is unique. Yeah. And it's because you, you can watch this video, you can hear someone talk about this, you can read a book about this kind of stuff. But until you actually have the hands-on experience of this kind of work, where you get a feedback immediately from a horse of what your intention is, how you're showing up, what your energy is like, that's where it really changes things. Yeah. And that's what you can take back then to your life. And that's what Paul did. Yeah. The thing that we want you to know about the where am I going question and making this stick is that the only way a man can make this mindset stick, make these habits stick, is by spending time with other men. We make a big mistake in our lives by surrounding ourselves with women because some of us nice guys have developed a very good comfort zone with women. But when it comes to changing your habits and finding a, a stronger, more masculine, powerful core, you have to do that work with other men, which is exactly why Tim and I have partnered up. We spend so much time together. It's why we create retreats and have meetups and do coaching. It's because we know that your power and your transformation is going to be with other men who have been initiated into this process. And that's what we're inviting you to do. So if you want to know more about the retreat, go to confidentmanretreat.com. Okay, it's confidentmanretreat.com, has all the information. You'll see that not only is it uh, working with the horses, it's, it's bonding with other guys who really you will learn have your back and are on the same path as you are. Yeah. It's also a lot of fun. There's it, campfires. It, it's all the food is included, and it is a lot of You'll probably gain five pounds. Food. <laughs> and um, the, all sorts of things like that. And like I said before, it is experiential. It's hands-on, mm -hmm. and you can't get this anywhere else. Yeah. We, there's going to be a lot of downtime, quiet time, bring a fishing rod, and just bring an open mind, and uh, we'll have your back. That's right. That'd so confidentmanretreat.com, and we hope to see you in Colorado. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.